welcome to episode one of Anatmas. I know that's a very, very cheesy name, but I like it, okay? Today's video, we're gonna be starting off December with a bang with my eyeshadow palette collection and declutter. This isn't going to be like a very intense declutter, but I am going to get rid of a couple of palettes. Um, I am filming this after my declutter, so I already know that I'm not going to be decluttering a lot. So if you're here expecting me to get rid of like half of my collection, that's not going to happen. I just kind of wanted to get rid of a couple of palettes that I just know I will never use again. So that's basically what this is going to be. And I feel like I should make just a very, very short disclaimer here and say that these are my palettes. I spent my money on them. I'm going to do whatever I want with them. And it's not of anyone's business what I decide to do with my palettes. And no, I will not be giving them away to anyone who is watching this video. There also is going to be a surprise in this video. So if you just keep watching, you might get to it. If you click out, you might not. Just saying. But let's get into my palette collection. Okay, so I figure we could just start with like my biggest palette so I can get those out of the way because they take up a lot of room here. So let's just start off with the Conspiracy palette just for fun. Now, I didn't really like this palette, I'm not gonna lie, but there is no way I'm not going to keep this because this is special. I mean, this is like a historical item in makeup history, if you will. So, I mean, even if I don't, Think that I'll be reaching for this that often like there is no way this is going to be leaving my collection so I am for sure keeping this. And the same can honestly be said for the Blue Blood palette. I actually really like this palette. I think the formula in this is a lot better than the Conspiracy palette and I really like the colors in this. This is something that I reach for a lot like I'm kind of a colorful bitch so it just makes sense for me to keep this palette because I also really like it so this is for sure going to be staying in my collection. Now here is a palette that I bought quite a while ago and I had such good intentions of filming a lot more looks with this. This is the Burger Palette by Glamlight. I honestly thought that the formula on this was really, really nice when I did try it. But like after I had played with it a little bit more and now that it's kind of been like laying in my collection a bit, like you can see that there's almost like kind of like oil seeping through out of the shimmers. I don't know what that means and I don't know if these are like going to go bad fast or what. And I also did have a little bit of a hard time with some of these shimmers, getting them to just pick up on a brush and like apply evenly. So now I'm like, is this palette going to, you know, stay good for a while? I don't know. So I don't know if I want to keep this around for much longer. I am going to keep it for like one more declutter round and then I'll probably get rid of it next time if it looks any worse than this. I do really like the colors in it and I can definitely see myself like using this again. So I am going to go ahead and keep this, but this is like a little bit worrying and I don't really know what's going on here, but I'm going to go ahead and keep this. Now let's talk about my Kat Von D fetish palette. Oh, if I can get this open. <laughs> All right, there we go. So this is what the palette looks like. Um, I actually really like this palette when I played with it, but it's been a while since I've touched this. Um, I also just, now that my channel has grown a little bit, I just feel very uncomfortable like using Kat Von D products, even if for me, I don't really care that much if I use them because like I've spent my money on them, but like I kind of feel bad like promoting them, if you will. I know that this is such like a touchy subject for a lot of people and like everyone has different opinions on how to, you know, just look at makeup. Like for me, makeup is mostly just makeup, you know, but like there are some brands that I just feel like are unacceptable to use right now. And I feel like Kat Von D is one of those. And I just, I don't know if I would ever feel comfortable like using this on camera again. So I think I'm just going to declutter it. Not that there's anything wrong with the quality of this. I do think that the quality is really nice. And like I said, I did quite like the palette when I used it, but just because I don't feel like I'll ever be able to film with this. And since I film like 99% of the time I do my makeup, this is just not something that I feel like I should be keeping in my collection. So I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can give this to a friend or something who's like, you know, doesn't know about all this drama and stuff and who would feel a little bit less worse about using this. So I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this one. Now here is the Alien palette by Jeffree Star. This is awesome. There is no way I'm decluttering this. I love this palette. I think the formula is really, really, really nice. I love the colors in it. I don't know. There's really not much I don't like about this palette except for some of the shimmers kind of hurting my eyes. But I mean, other than that, totally fine. Going to keep this palette. Let's talk about the Zodiac palette by BH Cosmetics. Uh, this was in one of the first eyeshadow palette collection videos that I filmed. It was literally the first video that I ever filmed for my YouTube channel and this palette was in it. And I like this palette still. I don't see any reason to declutter it because I think the quality of this is really nice. Again, it's not something I reach for a lot because I just have so many palettes and usually the newer palettes just take priority. It's just how it is to be a YouTuber, but I still really like this palette and I can absolutely see myself, you know, going back to this maybe doing like a multi palette bingo or something with all my BH palettes like that could actually be kind of fun so I'm for sure going to keep this around there's no reason for me to declutter this 
This Jeffree Star and Morphe palette, however, this one's a bit tough for me because I do feel like I got some really nice looks out of this when I used it. I did do a 10 look video with this. I'll link that up in the corner right there if you want to go check that out. But like I said, I've done a lot of looks with this and I felt like the looks came out looking really nice but I don't know how often I'll be reaching for this, but I do think I should keep this just for like comparison reasons and stuff. You know, just having a YouTube channel, it's nice to have products that are maybe a little bit hyped in your collection and not declutter them right away in case there's something I want to like compare this to. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep this only for like YouTuber reasons. If I wasn't on YouTube, I'd probably declutter this because I just, I don't really feel like the quality of this is like that great. Now this one, I could probably say the same thing about this is the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill palette. Uh, I don't know how I feel about this. I mean, honestly, these are just not my kind of colors at all. And I, I never used this palette. I think I'm going to probably give this to someone who's going to use it because I just know that it's going to collect dust in my collection. And I just, there's no reason for that, you know? Like, I feel like someone else would just really love this palette. So I would rather give this to someone who's going to get some joy out of it because I know that I won't. So I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this. Now let's do some of like my really, really small palettes here because these are just like kind of annoying to store and like in the way. Let's start off with this Line Crime Quad. This one I got at IMATS. I think it was like a gift with purchase or something. If you spend, you know, too much money, you get a gift for free and this is what I got. I never used this. It's, it's, I mean, the quality of it is fine. I've used it once and I didn't hate it, but like the packaging is just really annoying and I don't see myself really reaching for this. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this to someone. Now these are two eyeshadow trios from Anna Sui and I don't know what I wanna do with these. I did get these in PR and like they're beautiful but they're not something that I really reach for. Like this is not my kind of eyeshadow style. Like I very much prefer just like either matte or very shiny metallic shimmers and these are just kind of like satiny mattes and it's also not really like the kind of colors that I reach for. So I do think for that reason that See, I don't know. I These are the kind of things that I just think are really cute that I would like to have in my collection just for like aesthetic purposes. So you know what, maybe I'll keep these. I mean, they are very new and I kind of want to just like collect all of the things that I do get sent from Anna Sui because these are expensive and like it means a lot to me to be on their PR list and I just think that that is so cool that I want to keep these because I, like I said, I think that they are just really cute and they don't take up a lot of space. So I think I am gonna go ahead and keep these even if they're they're not really something that I reach for a lot, but I feel like if I ever want to do like a dedicated Anna Sui video, it would be nice to just have like eyeshadows to do that with, you know? This is again like definitely like a YouTuber kind of reasoning for keeping these, but I'm gonna go ahead and keep both of these because they're so small. Now let's talk about some ColourPop and like some very, very small palettes here. So this is my Natasha Denona gold palette, mini gold palette, I should say. I'm gonna keep this. I really, really like this. I think the formula on this is beautiful, the shadow right here. It's like, oh, it's everything. I mean, it's such a beautiful duo quilt. I just, ah, oh, man, I just, I just can't look at how pretty that is. <gasps> oh, I'm definitely keeping this. <laughs> I'm also going to keep this Huda Beauty Emerald Obsessions palette. I love this. There are so many beautiful colors in this that there's just no reason for me to get rid of. And I think I'm also going to keep the Model Obsessions, even though this is not a color scheme that I really ever reach for, but I do like this palette and I like this palette along with other palettes. I don't necessarily reach for it by itself, but like even pairing it with something like this, like I feel like these will go so well together. So I'm definitely going to keep this. There's just no reason for me to like declutter things that I feel like I might use at some point because I have a lot of storage. Like it's not a big deal for me to have a big collection and I like having a big collection. The point of this video was not to get rid of as many palettes from my collection as I'm able to. It's really just like to show you what I have and maybe get rid of stuff that I know I never reach for and that I probably never will. So here's a little small palette from ColourPop. Man, I am so dirty right now, but it's probably only gonna get worse. So this is from ColourPop. This is the little Make Up Your Mind palette. It's really just six shimmery shadows and I love this. I think this is so cute. I really love the silver shadow in this. I probably should not be like swatching already, but like, you know, here we are. And I'm sure you don't mind some swatches, but this silver, look how metallic both of those are. They're just stunning. So I'm definitely going to keep this. Okay, moving on. Here's a little quad that I have from Blush Tribe. I don't love this, but it's honestly just perfect for traveling. Like I've brought this 
basically every time I've traveled since I bought this and even if I don't love the formula on this like it's fine and all but like it just goes so well with like everything else that I bring so I'm just gonna keep that for like travel reasons really and I'm also going to keep my sugar pill mini color palette this is the fun size palette. I love this. I think this is so cute. I know a lot of people didn't love the formula on this because they didn't think it was like very buildable and it didn't lay very nicely like on your lid. But honestly, I only use mattes in my crease anyway and I rarely do all my eye looks. So for me, this is perfect. I like this a lot. I thought it performed nice. So definitely going to keep this. It's also my only sugar pill item. So like don't want to get rid of that. And also it has a cat on it. Like how can, how can I get rid of anything that has a cat on it? It's just, it's not going to happen. Now these are all of my monochromatic palettes from Colourpop. I basically have all of them, I think. I mean, I'm missing like some of the fruity ones, but I think I have like all the monochromatic ones. And I'm definitely going to keep all of these, mostly for like YouTube purposes, because they do make for really good videos and like they're fun to do like palette bingos with and stuff. So, and they're also fun if I get another monochromatic palette and I can use that one like in conjunction with a random one of these for videos. I like doing that. So definitely going to keep all of these. I don't feel like I need to open them because I'm sure you've all seen what these look like, but they're all absolutely beautiful and I find that they perform really well. So I'm going to go ahead and keep all of these beautiful little palettes. Alright, let's move into our next random pile of palettes here. I really just like sorted them based on the size of the palette. So, you know, if it's not like based on brands, doesn't matter. This is the Feral palette by Menagerie Cosmetics. Menagerie is one of my favorite brands if you're new to my channel. I love all of their palettes. Just look at this artwork. Oh, this is the Feral palette, like I said, and this is what the palette looks like. Beautiful, colorful palette. Their mattes are absolutely amazing. So pigmented. Oh, I just love these. And there's absolutely no way that I'm getting rid of any of my palettes from Menagerie, but I will show them to you when we get to them. But this is one of my favorites. So definitely going to go ahead and keep this. Next up, we have a palette that I actually talked about in a recent video where I did a video where if I could only keep 10 eyeshadow palettes, I'll link that in the corner as well. It was very interesting, but this is the Sugar Crystals palette by Violet Voss. Uh, the reason why I wanted to keep this in my only 10 palettes is because of this bottom row here, because these are all like very, very beautiful light uh, duochromes and they're just the perfect inner corner shade. So I love this palette. I think the concept of this palette is just really, really good and is well executed. I think the formula is okay. It's not amazing, but it's definitely a very solid palette that I'm very happy to have in my collection. So this isn't going anywhere. This is another one of my BH Cosmetics palettes. I don't have a ton from BH, but I do have a few. This is the Color Festival palette. I'm gonna go ahead and keep this, um, mostly for YouTube reasons as well, because I do have, you know, some BH palettes, and I feel like videos where you use, like, all of your palettes from the same brand is kind of, like, fun to do, and it's fun. I don't know. I like keeping palettes from brands that I have a lot of palettes from, just so I have, like, a little collection of palettes from certain brands, so I'm gonna go ahead and keep that for that reason. I did think that the quality of this was nice, even though the color story is like a little bit boring maybe, but like, it's fine. I'm gonna keep it. I like I like the packaging on this. So this is the Nubian Coral palette by Juvia's Place. This is the first Juvia's Place palette that we have encountered so far. I have a lot of them and I'm not going to get rid of any of them. Even if they're not like my favorites, like I don't love this palette because this color story is not really me, but I am a little bit of a collector of Juvia's even though I don't own all of the palettes, but there's no reason for me to get rid of this yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and hold on to this. So here is a palette from an indie brand called Amy Hart's Beauty. I did get this sent in PR and this is what the palette looks like. I thought the quality of the shadows were actually really nice. So I do think I'm going to hold on to this even though the color story isn't like perfect for me. Like I don't think I would have bought this palette myself, but having it, I'm not mad that I have it. So I do think I'm gonna go ahead and keep this. One thing I don't like about this palette is like the stickers here on the back with like the shade names on it. Like I feel like that's a little bit cheap looking, but I am gonna keep this palette because I do think like the quality of this is nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and hang on to this too. Here is a palette from, I think it's Midas Cosmetics. I used to say Midas, I don't know. I think it's Midas, but this is the High Times palette. I wish I had more time to play with this palette, honestly, because when I did, this was such a beautiful palette and I got such a good look out of this. I really enjoyed this palette. I thought the quality was really nice. 
It's also got like a nice big mirror in it. I love the packaging on it. I love, this is the kind of packaging that I wish that every brand would have. I did forget about the sticker on the back though. I hate when any brands do this. It just cheapens the palette so much. I don't know. I feel like if they could just like print it on the back of the palette instead, it would make the palettes look so much more expensive and that like more money went into the packaging, which I mean, obviously they're trying to save money by doing this, so don't love that, but I do really like the palette itself. I love the quality of it. I'm gonna go ahead and keep this. Here's another palette that I did get in PR. This is the Alter Ego Daydream palette. Now, you're gonna look at this and probably be like, Annette, this is not your color story at all, and you're absolutely correct, but like I said, I did get this in PR, and I think that the quality of this is really, really nice, and I'm pretty sure I'm on their PR list, so I definitely don't want to get rid of this because I wanna be able to use all of the palettes from the brand together in videos, like I said before, so I'm gonna keep this to be able to use it together with my other Alter Ego palettes, and also, since these are dupe palettes, I think it's fun to have them just for like, you know, reference and stuff. And like, it's, it's a, I really like the quality of these is what I was trying to say. And I think that these are like good to recommend to people who are looking to buy the original, but don't want to spend the money on them. I really think that the quality of Alter Ego's products are really, really nice. I do have a code with Alter Ego, I'm pretty sure. It's not affiliated, but I'll put it up on the screen if you were, you know, wondering about maybe ordering from them and you want to get a discount code. I do have one. So if you want to use it, go ahead. I don't make anything from it, but it'll give you a discount at least. So this is my Divinity palette by Strobe Cosmetics. They have now rebranded and they're called Shroud Cosmetics. But this is from when they used to be Strobe and they also have the Creepy Cute palette, which let's just do that at the same time. So these two palettes are from the same brand. I think these are the only two palettes that the brand has. I love both of these palettes. The Creepy Cute palette is the best pastel palette on the market in my humble opinion, but this is just amazing. The quality of these shadows is just, ugh, oh, it's incredible. Like they just, they're so pigmented for being pastel shadows. It's almost like, it's almost like they're cheating because it shouldn't be allowed to be this good. I don't know how they did that, but it's just, it's amazing. And like the magnetic closure on this, ow, look at that. Ah. <laughs> it's so strong, <laughs> ow, that hurt. <laughs> this is a great palette. <laughs> this is also a great palette. I'm gonna keep both of these. So here's a palette from OMFG Cosmetics, and this is the Fall Wipes. Oh shit. Oh no. Fall Wipes. Shit. <laughs> oh, what happened? I guess they weren't glued in properly. <laughs> We're missing one, and <laughs> we're missing the green one. But what I was going to say about this palette is that I really like the matte formula from OMFG Cosmetics. I think they have really nice mattes, especially in this palette. Their shimmers are, you know, so-so. I don't think they're great, but they're also not bad. So I do think I'm gonna go ahead and keep this palette because I really like the color story in this. And again, like I said before, there's no reason for me to really declutter something that I'm like unsure of. I'm only going to declutter things that I know I'm not going to use again. So I'm gonna go pick up that shadow that fell on the floor, pop it back in here, and then I'm going to put this palette away. So if you are not new to my channel, you know how special this palette is to me. This is the Sandra Rose palette by Glaminatrix Cosmetics. This is what the palette looks like. She's so beautiful, you guys. I'm totally biased because I did help curate the color story on this. The owner so kindly messaged me and asked for my input on this palette. It wasn't a collab or anything, but I do I do feel like I kind of had a say in this and I just think it turned out so beautifully. And Glaminatrix's formula is just everything. I will give you some very quick swatches here because I need to show you just like how pretty these foils are. And let's do some mattes as well because her brand is like one of the mattes that swatches the best that I've ever tried. So let me just like show you how beautiful these shadows are because oh my god like look at that oh look how beautiful oh man I just I love this formula so much this palette is incredible I don't know if there's any left I will link it down below if they do have any left um I can't promise I I'm not going to link everything in my collection because I just I don't have enough room for that but if I do find that this palette is still available for sale, I will have a link down in my description box because it honestly is just like such an amazing palette. 
Let's do some more small palettes, shall we? I feel like we are never going to be done. I hope you guys are enjoying this because this is going to be an extremely long video. But this is the Focalore, what are you called? The Secret Palette. I'm actually gonna go ahead and declutter this. I did not like this palette at all. I like the color story. I did get this set in PR and I just, I wasn't really impressed. So I'm not gonna go ahead and keep this because I also don't have anything else from the brand. So it doesn't make sense to me to really keep this. So let's keep going though. This is the Blue Moon Palette by Colourpop. This should have been in the other pile. I'm gonna go ahead and keep this. Love this palette. This is a palette that I'm honestly very much in doubt of whether I want to keep or not. This is for the Love of Fall palette by Love Lux Beauty. I love the color story in this, but I just wasn't really impressed by this formula. But I feel like I should keep it because I wouldn't mind giving the brand another chance in a while, you know, after they've kind of listened to maybe some feedback and stuff and maybe improve their quality a bit. I do feel like it could be fun to keep this and like compare to what their next formula is going to be like and also their packaging just sucks. Like again, with a sticker on the back, like I wish any brands would just stop doing this because it's just very unprofessional in my opinion and it just, it just cheapens the palette so much. So like I said, I'm gonna keep this only for like video purposes and for comparison purposes for future reference. So I don't love this palette, but I'm gonna keep it anyway. This is a palette that I am pretty sure I was sent by a subscriber and I've honestly never gotten around to trying it and I just feel so bad. This is the Aftershock palette by Bad Habit. Uh, I don't think Bad Habit exists anymore. I think they used to be, wait, they're the ones who used to be sold on Shop Hush, right? I don't exactly know what happened, but I think they shut down. And I think that the same people who run Alter Ego used to be Bad Habit. I could be completely wrong, but from what I've heard, like their formulas are pretty much exactly the same. And like I said, I haven't tried this, but I have swatched it and it did swatch really nicely. And so I do think that this would be a good palette. Pretty sure this is a dupe for the Huda Electric Obsessions. Is that what it's called? Like the colorful palette? Anyway, long story short, I'm gonna keep this. I'm also going to keep another one of my Menagerie palettes. This is the Violet Ink palette. This is one of their six pants. Ugh, love this. It's so beautiful. I really like it. I think I'm also going to keep this colored rain palette. This is the Berry Cute palette. I got this in a mystery. Did I get this in a mystery bag? I think I did. I'm gonna go ahead and keep this. I used it once and I was honestly very blown away by the shadows. I thought they performed so well. And they're so different from what they are like in a pan when you look at them. I felt like the colors on your eyes just showed up so differently and so much better and so much just like more interesting than what they look like in a palette. So gonna keep this. This is the other of the micro palettes from Menagerie Cosmetics. I'm gonna keep this one as well. It's called the Courtship Palette. The shadow right here called Besties and is one of my favorite shadows in my collection. This is just so beautiful. This is such a stunning like duochrome shade. I absolutely love this. Here's a palette that I've never featured on my channel before. I did get this in a Tri Beauty box. I'm pretty sure that's where I got this. This is the Brights palette by Ruby May Beauty. I used this once off camera and I really, really liked it. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep this because I think the quality of this is really nice. I'm also going to keep the Queen palette by Juvia's Place. This is the collab that she did in collaboration with Fumi. I like this palette a lot. I haven't used it as much as I would like to, but I really like the shade down here as a blush. I think that works very, very nicely for me. And even the highlighting shade is really, really nice. So definitely gonna keep this. Here's one that I'm going to declutter. This is the Neon palette by Blush Tribe. I had such a hard time with this palette, you guys. This was giving me so much trouble. And this basically performed like neon loose pigments in that they just, they just don't stick to your eyes. They can't be blended. The only way to use these is if you really, really pack it on. And even then, like, they were pigmented, but not as pigmented as like loose pigments. And so if I'm going to go through the hassle of using neon shadows, this is not going to be it because I have loose neon shadows that perform way better than this and act in the exact same way. So I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this. Here's another palette from OMFG Cosmetics. This is a Pretty in Pastels palette. I don't love this color story, honestly. They did send me this palette, which I'm so grateful for, and I really, really like the owner. She seems very, very sweet, but I do think I'm going to declutter this because I do have the Creepy Cute palette, and I just think those pastels are so much better. And like I was saying before about OMFG, they don't have my favorite shimmer formula, so I don't really see myself ever reaching for this because I just have better shadows that I like more in my collection. But I do think that is a pretty good palette. It's just not as good as what I already own. 
Next up, this is also from Menagerie Cosmetics, but th they came out with this palette when they were called Makeup Monsters. This is the Dragon Child palette. This is one of my favorite palettes in my collection. Love this color story. Again, packaging is just on point. Like, this is what the packaging on the back should look like of palettes. It shouldn't be a sticker. You know what I mean? I don't know. Maybe that's just me, but I love this. This is so cute. Definitely going to keep this. I'm also going to keep the mini controversy palette. Again, this is like iconic, you know, I'm just, I'm not going to get rid of this. I do wish that that green shadow was in there. I hope they're not going to sell it with the green shadow in there from now on. I'm going to be so mad, but I'm going to go ahead and keep this. All right, so if you made it this far into the video, congratulations, this is the giveaway part of the video. Um, I am going to give away two of these mini breaker palettes. This is the one that's mine that I've used, but I do have two completely new ones because I got them in my mystery bags earlier this year. This is what they look like, completely new, in box, never been used or swatched. I'm going to give away both of these. There's going to be two winners. All you have to do to enter is just to leave me a comment down below with a way for me to contact you, and you have to be subscribed to my channel. That's basically it. So it could be your Twitter, your Instagram, you know, your email, whatever it is. If you don't leave me anywhere to contact you, unfortunately, you're not going to be entered into the giveaway. It's just how I'm going to do it. It's going to be a lot easier this time. It is going to be open internationally, so because these are kind of small and they're not going to cost that much to send, hopefully. I mean, hopefully the person who wins is going to be in the States, but it will be open internationally for the people who are maybe wanting to get these. So so good luck to everybody who enters. I hope you win. I hope you get lucky. Now let's move into the next batch of palettes here. I feel like we should just start with all of my Kaleidos palettes because I am going to keep all of these. I think these are absolutely beautiful. I did get two of these in PR. I want to say I got was this one and this one. These are the newest ones. The other ones I did by myself. This is the, what are you called, turquoise, electro turquoise. Love this palette, I love this brand. It's one of my favorite brands. I think that their formula is just amazing. Their packaging is amazing. Everything about these palettes are just so good. This new shimmer formula that they have, you guys. Oh, I could die, literally. Oh, just look at this. Oh my God. Oh, they're just so pretty. They're so beautiful. I love these palettes so much. If you wanna see the other ones, I'll show you them very quickly if you have not already seen these. Oh, they're just so stunning. I love the color story in these. This is the Astro Pink palette. This is one of my favorites, mostly just because of this duochrome down here. It's so pretty. And we also have the Sci-Fi Green palette, which looks like this. Stunning. And guess what? We have more palettes. Woohoo! I have so many palettes still left. Oh my goodness. I need to change my battery soon too. Let's go through this pile first. This is a Viseart Dark Mattes. I'm going to go ahead and keep this palette. I haven't really used it a lot, but I do find the quality to be really nice. So definitely going to keep this. This is another one of my Menagerie palettes. This is the Whale Song palette. I'm sorry if I'm breezing through this. I wish you guys could tell me to slow down, but I just have so much to go through here and I don't want this video to be two hours long. Uh, this is what the palette looks like. Absolutely beautiful. It does stain like but it's so pretty, like it's so worth it. This is one of my favorite palettes in my collection. This is the Blush Tribe, the Hasina 2 palette. Love the color story in this. It's just so good. The quality of this palette is everything. I mean, honestly, this is like the best palette that Blush Tribe has ever come out with, in my opinion. I just love this. Next up, we have the ColourPop Chasing Rainbows palette. I really like this palette too. I'm for sure going to keep this. I think this is just, it's stunning. I love the color story. I wish more people talked about this. I feel like this is a very underrated ColourPop palette. I also have another one of the Alter Ego palette. This is the Goddess palette. This is the dupe for the Natasha Nona Gold palette. This is beautiful. This has such a good formula and it has so many different kinds of formulas within the palette. I'm honestly so impressed by this. I almost feel like they dupe this exactly. I mean, I can't tell for sure because I don't have the Natasha Nona palette, but just from like seeing other people use them side by side, they are honestly so similar that if you've been wanting the gold palette, get this because this is so good and it's so cheap and it's so worth it because the quality is just amazing. Here is another palette that is from Menagerie. I did, I do get the scent in PR. I don't know if I'm supposed to say that because I know that like the rules and stuff changed recently with the YouTube. So I'm just going to make sure that I say all of the stuff I get in PR, but this is what the palette looks like. It's beautiful. I think that all of the shadows here perform so well, especially the mattes. I don't love the shimmers in this palette in particular. I find that this shimmer formula is a little bit chunky and hard to work with, but a lot of the other shimmers from Menagerie are not like this. I just, I love this palette. I mean, just look at that. It's called a Killer Purr palette. <laughs> it's just so cute. 
Here's another like somewhat recent purchase. I guess for people who weren't on YouTube, they would say this is a pretty new palette, but this is the Linda Halberg Spectral palette. This is like a pastel -y palette with a couple of shimmers in it. I didn't love this. I mean, I thought it was okay. Like it wasn't terrible, but like I didn't like the shimmer formula in this. I thought that the silver was kind of like crumbly and hard to work with and had a lot of fallout. And the other two shimmers are kind of like satins and those are just not my kind of formula. So I don't know. I'm gonna keep it though because it was expensive and like I can definitely get more use out of this. I do think it's a beautiful palette and I love the artwork on this. I think it's really, really nice. But I don't like love it as a whole, but like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and keep this still. I'm also going to keep this one. This is the Alamar Cosmetics, what are you called? Reina del Caribe. I should not be trying to speak Spanish, but this is what the palette looks like. Got this in BoxyCharm a long time ago. I think the quality of this is really, 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 really nice. Not like my ideal color story, but this is definitely like a companion palette for me and I love this. This is the Glam Light Taco Viva Taco palette. This is what the palette looks like. This is probably my favorite Glam Light palette. I think the formula on this is amazing. I love the color story in this. I think this is such a cute, like fun palette and I like the taco theme. I know a lot of people don't love like the realistic like food image palette thingies, but like I like this. I think this is cute. So I'm definitely going to keep this. This is the Island Babe, is that what it's called? Island Babe palette by Glamier Cosmetics. They did send me this to review and I think that the mattes in this are really, really nice. Um, it, there is a row of pressed glitters on the bottom here, which I don't use pressed glitters. And I also don't think that this palette is any better than any other palettes with the same colors that I have in my collection. So I'm gonna go ahead and declutter. This is also quite big and I'm not really a fan of like really, really big palettes. So this is unfortunately going, but I do think that I know someone who's going to get a lot more use out of this than me. These next two are two palettes that I will absolutely be keeping. This is the Natasha Denona Sunset palette. Ugh. Again, not really my color story anymore. I bought this before I really knew how much I loved color, but I do think that the quality of this is really, really nice and there's absolutely no reason for me to declutter this. So definitely gonna keep this. And I'm also going to keep the Jawbreaker palette, which is one of my favorite palettes in my collection, simply because it's just so versatile. Like I can do anything with this palette. So I'm just really excited to have this. And we have even more palettes to go. I feel like I'm never going to run out. I'm like, I didn't think I had this many palettes, but I've gotten so many palettes in the last year. It's almost ridiculous. Let's just start on top. This is the Beauty by Stony Remedy palette. I did get this sent in PR as well. Um, I really like this. I think the quality of this is really, really nice. Um, can definitely see myself using this again at some point. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep this. I'm also going to keep all of my Pinky Rose palettes. This is the, the trilogy that they had. I don't know if it had like a name or anything. This is the Exotic Peacock palette. Love this. I think that the colors in this is just really, really nice. I like the quality of these two. I will say the mattes isn't like my favorite formula of all time. They do have a tendency to get a little bit patchy, like the darker shades, but like the mid-tone shades are amazing. And I really, really love all of these palettes. This is the Obsessed palette. And then we have the 80s Baby palette, which looks like this. And also their customer service is so good. One of my palettes came broken last time and they literally sent me a new one like two days after I had emailed them. So I really like them as a company. I really, I can't wait to see what else they come out with in the future. Let's move on. This is the Radioactive palette by Melt. I do have this in the packaging. I don't know why really, but I, I don't know. I don't love this palette. This is not my favorite palette in my collection by any means. I think it's okay, but I do feel like it's a little bit falsely advertised. I don't feel like this is a neon palette personally. I feel like this is just a rainbow palette. So I think I just had too high expectations for this, but like judging it as a rainbow palette, I think it's pretty good. So I'm definitely gonna go ahead and keep this. And like, while we're on the topic of melt, we might as well just talk about the Morte palette as well. This is the new one. I love this. This is such a stunning palette. I don't think I have anything similar to this in my collection. And like the color story in this is just so unique and so beautiful and so inspiring. And the packaging is just everything as well. I do wish I had the other one. I am going to try to get the other one on Black Friday. I don't know when this is going up. This is probably going up after Black Friday. So hopefully by the time you see this, I will already have ordered the other half of this skull because I just want to complete this. 
Here is one of my few Anastasia palettes. This is the Alyssa Edwards palette. I actually got this sent by a subscriber as well, which was so sweet. So there is no way I'm getting rid of this. I do think that this palette is nice, even though I've only used it once. I'm not the biggest fan of like the ABH formula, but I do think that this is like a nice palette still, even though it's not my favorite. Now let's talk about this palette. This is from Uma Beauty. Um, this is the, what are you called? The Allure palette or the Black Magic palette? I think it's called the Allure palette. I'm not really sure, like it's very confusing. This is what the color story looks like. I mean, this is a beautiful palette. I think this is really, really pretty, but I did not love the shimmer formula in this. Um, it's like very, very gritty and like dry and sandpapery and it just doesn't feel nice. I don't know, it's very strange. It's weird to explain. I don't have any other palettes with this kind of formula and I just didn't really enjoy working with it even though I got a really, really nice result out of it. But I don't know, for me, the process of doing my makeup is sometimes more important than the end result and for that reason, I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this. I should be able to easily find someone to hand this over to. So let's move on. This is my Natasha Denona Metropolis palette. I absolutely love this. It's one of my favorite palettes in my collection. Despite this being such a neutral palette for me, I still just love this. I, I just, I fell in love with this formula as soon as I tried it. And I wish that Natasha Nona would come out with something like way more colorful with the same formula because these mattes are just everything and the shimmers are really nice too and there's no way i'm ever 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 going to declutter this palette unless it goes bad and the same can be said for my pat mcgrath palette this is the only one that i own this is the mothership decadence palette i think this is called this is the all shimmer palette this is just so beautiful and to me this is more of a collector's item than anything else so i will for sure not be getting rid of this anytime this is another palette from Alter Ego. This is the Sahara palette. This is a dupe for the Natasha Denona, what is that called again? Biba palette? I think it's the Biba palette, but this is what the palette looks like. It's really nice neutral palette. It's not really my kind of, you know, thing, but I do think it's a nice palette nonetheless. And I think that this is something that a lot of people would like. And again, the kind of completionist, but not really in me wants to keep this for video purposes. So that's what I'm gonna do. Now let's talk about my two certified palettes. I am so in love with these palettes. I think they're so beautiful. This is the Destiny palette, I think this one is called. Such a beautiful kind of fall palette, I love this. And this is the Affinity 2 palette, it's a blue and green palette. I mean, look at these colors together. Like, isn't that just, oh my God, like I could, I could bathe in these, these are so pretty. No way I'm getting rid of any of these, going to keep them both. Now, I do think that I'm actually going to get rid of this one. This is the Carity All Matte Palette. This is a rainbow palette. <sighs> I don't think that this palette is bad at all. Like, I just, I never reach for an all matte palette. I just can't help it, you know? And it's also just kind of too big to travel with. And I just never see myself really reaching for this again. Um, like I said, it is a good palette. I feel like it performs really well, at least when I tried it like a year ago. It's been so long, you guys. That's another reason why I feel like it's just time for me to let go of this palette, even though I do like it, but I just know I'm never going to use it. So we are actually kind of nearing the end. So this is all we got left here. I feel like we should start with my Juvia's Place palettes because I'm pretty sure I'm not going to get rid of any of these because I just love them all. So this is the Magic Mini palette. I'm sure you have all seen these palettes before, but I love them all. We're just gonna go through these very quickly because like I said, I don't really have anything to say about any of them except that I love them. I think that they are just so beautiful. This is the Deuce palette. I feel like this is like the most neutral palette that I can get on board with because it does have some color in it still. This is the New Warrior 3 palette. Absolutely stunning. Love this palette. This is the Masquerade Mini. This is what it looks like. It's got some beautiful, beautiful shimmers up top there. It's probably one of my least favorites. This is the Nubian 2 palette. And we also have the Zulu palette, which is another one of my favorites. I just, I love color, can you tell? <laughs> This is the Afrique palette. This is the, probably the colorful palette that I like the least because some of these shadows just don't perform that well. Like I don't really like the blue up here and I also don't love that yellow. But other than that, I think this is a beautiful palette and there's no way I'm going to get rid of it because I just have no reason to. Uh, here's the Saharan palette, the Festival palette. I love this for the red up there. This is like a true red. That's very tough to come by. Um, this is not a Juvia's Place palette, but this is a totally botany palette by Glisten Cosmetics. 
I did one video with it and I really, really, really liked it. And I had full intentions of doing more looks with it, but it's so hard to go back to older palettes when you constantly have new ones coming in that you have to focus on because once a new palette comes in, it's like, yeah, I should be doing a three looks, one palette video with the new one. And then you kind of forget about the old ones. And then by the time I'm done with like my three look palette with the new palette, another new palette comes in and it's just like, ah, oh, never mind. <laughs> it's just hard. This is a palette that uh, one of my Australian friends actually sent me. This is the Chi Chi OMFG2 palette. I will have Prue's channel linked up at the corner. She's one of my best friends on YouTube. She's just amazing. Go check her out. She'll be linked right up there. But did you even see this palette? Did I open it? I feel like I opened it. Here's what the palette looks like. I used this once and I thought it performed really, really well. I really liked the look that I came up with and I'm definitely going to keep this because I'm actually going to Australia in January. So I'm thinking I will like buy some Australian makeup and do like a video about using Australian makeup, you know, so that could be fun to have. Here is a palette that's very special to me. This is the Polina palette by Blush Tribe. I love this palette and I love Polina and there's no way I'm ever, 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 ever going to get rid of this palette because it's just beautiful. Let's go back to Juba's Place. This is the Tri palette. Absolutely love this palette too. So many beautiful colors in here. I love me some kind of dirty mustardy colors and that's exactly what you get in here. Like. This color right here is like what I describe as a poop color. <laughs> and I love me a good poop color. It's just, I don't know. Actually, I find those kind of colors to be like very flattering on the eyes. I don't know if it's just because I have brown eyes, but I love those kind of colors. Let's talk about this palette. I think I'm actually going to declutter this one. This is a Blossom palette by Blush Tribe. I think that this palette has gotten discontinued if I'm not mistaken. And I also didn't love the quality of this palette. There are some shadows in here that are really nice, like spectacularly nice, like especially these two, the green and the blue, amazing colors, but like all of the pastels are very lackluster and just not very good shadows. So I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this one. Okay, we are into the last pile of palettes here. Let's start on top. This is the BH Cosmetics Weekend Festival palette. I love this palette. I think this is great. This was one of the first colorful palettes that I bought. And it's also the first palette I think I did a video with on my YouTube channel. I'm pretty sure I did a palette bingo with this as like the first time ever doing my makeup on camera type thing. Um, I don't wanna link that video. I was gonna say I will, but if you really wanna see, you're gonna have to go back to my channel and watch that because it's an old video and it's going to make me cringe. So please don't go watch that. <laughs> All right, here is the Violet Voss Rainbow Palette. I think it's just called the Rainbow Palette. Yeah, this is beautiful. This is basically just an all shimmer palette. I don't really understand why there are so many similar shades in this palette though, but I do really like the quality of this and it's no reason for me to declutter this. I also really like the Block Party Palette by Suva Beauty. This is stunning. I got this in a Tri Beauty box and I couldn't be happier because I'd been eyeing this palette for so long. I remember at IMATS, I was there early in the day and Suva Beauty had a booth and they literally sold out of this palette as I was walking up to the booth. And I was so sad because I was going to get this, but then I got it in my box like the week after and I was like, wow, I guess that was meant to be. <laughs> Now here are two palettes that I do think I'm going to declutter. Now I know there's been like so much talk about the uh, Morphe and Jaclyn Hill collab, like the vault. Like people were saying that there was a good batch and a bad batch and I'm pretty sure I got a bad one. Um, this palette is good for me, but this one right here, I bought them separately at different locations and I could definitely tell the difference in the formula between the two. This is the Black Magic palette. I wonder if maybe I should keep this because I honestly do like this palette. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and keep this. I'm going to declutter this one though. This is the Armin and Gorgeous palette. I really like the color story in this, but like I just could not make this work for the life of me. And I just thought that it was so hard to blend and it was so patchy and the shimmers were just so bad. I did not have a good time with this at all. So I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this one. I'm also going to unfortunately declutter this one. This is from Betsy Johnson. I did get this sent in PR by FragranceNet and I'm so grateful, but this is just a little bit too big of a palette for my liking. And also, as you can tell, there's a lot of neutrals in here. I did do a look with it and it came out really well, but I just know myself and I know that I'm never going to reach for this. And I would rather give this to someone who's actually going to use it, which I know that I won't. So like I was saying, it's not a bad palette. It's just not really for me. 
Now, this is one of my favorite palettes in my collection. This is the Vintage Rose Palette by Give Me Glow. This is the first palette that I bought from Give Me Glow, and I don't know why, because now I want them all. I think the formula is amazing. The mattes are just so nice and pigmented and buildable and blendable, and the shimmers are out of this world. I might as well just give you some swatches of these shimmers, because... You know, if you're still around, you probably like this video because you've been here for a while, so you probably don't mind sticking around for a bit longer. But look at those swatches, though. I mean, that is just... Oh, it's beautiful. I love this palette. Let's move on. This is a palette from Nomad Cosmetics. This is the Marrakesh palette. Here is what the palette looks like. I did get this sent to me in an influencer box by Pinch Me, and I like this palette, but it does have a lot of satins in it, and I said that when I used this palette too, that satins are not my favorite kind of formula, but I am going to keep this because I've, I haven't had it for very long, and like, I might as well keep it in my collection because I really like Nomad as a brand. I've been so lucky to be able to talk to the owner quite a bit, and she seems like such a sweetheart, and just for that reason alone, and just for like how they handled me giving them kind of a bad review, I don't know, like I almost feel like a bit of a connection to the brand now, which is weird, and I know I shouldn't be, but like, I don't know, I just like them. They're really, really sweet, and I do think that a lot of people really would like this formula. It's just not my favorite. Now let's talk about the Tokyo palette. This one is also from Nomad Cosmetics, like I was just saying, and I like this palette a lot more. This one also has some satins, but I like this palette mostly for the bottom rows here. These are all like multi-chromes, and they're stunning. I just, I think they're so beautiful, and I also like the packaging on this a lot more. Like, like how cute that is. And also, did you see the imprints on these shadows? Like, they have little kitties on them. I don't know if you're gonna be able to really see that, but it's just, it's so cute. I'm for sure going to keep this. Another one that I'm going to keep is the Oceanic, 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 Oceanic palette <laughs> by Ace Beauté, or Beauty, or Beauté. <laughs> Man, this is a tough one. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to keep this. Look at this color story. It's absolutely beautiful. This is also not my favorite formula. I don't love the shimmers in this. I find them to be kind of hard to work with and a bit chunky and stuff, but you know what? It's fine. I can deal with it. I think the mattes are just amazing, so no reason for me to get rid of that one either. I'm also not going to get rid of probably any of these ne next ones, but this is the Subculture palette. We've all seen this. I love this palette. I also like the Riviera palette. I don't love it. Um, I think the formula is okay. Like I was saying before, ABH does not have my favorite formula, and I know that's an unpopular opinion, but maybe it's just because I haven't tried any of like their neutrals, and I feel like those are the palettes that most people rave about, but I know that I'll never use those palettes, so there's no reason for me to buy them, but I do have the Riviera palette, and I'm going to keep it mostly for like YouTube purposes, I suppose, but I don't think it's a bad palette. It's just, it's not my favorite. Now, this is probably my newest palette to my collection. This is the Alma palette. This is a collaboration that Amy Loves Makeup did with Amy Hearts Beauty. I can't believe I got that right. <laughs> this is what the palette looks like. I have made a video with this that is very recent. I will actually have that linked up in the corner if you wanna watch that, but Amy is such a good friend of mine on YouTube, and I just, I wish her the best. I think that she is amazing. I'm so proud of her. I'm so happy that she was able to do this collab. And for that reason, I'm going to keep this palette forever. This is never going to leave my collection. There's no way I'm going to get rid of this because this is, this is so special to me. And lastly, for our last palette, this is very random that this ended up being the last one, but here we are. This is the Max Up The Makeup Sweater Weather palette. I think this palette is so cute. I love the packaging. I love how cohesive it is all the way around. There's no sticker on the back. I don't know why that's such a pet peeve of mine, but I love this palette. There's no way I'm going to get rid of this. Now, I think what I should do is I should tally up how many palettes that I ended up decluttering, and then I will put a number up on the screen of how many palettes that I have in total, because it's going to take me a while to count that. So I think the right thing to do now is just to kind of summarize how I ended up doing. So I will have the numbers up on the screen on how many palettes that I ended up keeping and how many I ended up decluttering. So as you can see, I didn't really declutter a lot of palettes, but I'm honestly very happy about this. I don't mind having a big collection at all. Like I'm totally okay with where my collection is at and I'm fully aware that it's going to keep growing in the next year and I'm going to do another collection and declutter next year. So, you know, we're just gonna continue the circle. I'm just going to keep having fun with my eyeshadow palettes and I hope that if you stuck around for this long and you are new to my channel, 
I would love it if you would consider subscribing because now you know like the kind of makeup that I like to do and if you like my collection you're probably going to like my content because this is basically what I do on my channel. Eyeshadows is my true love, it's what I love to do and it's what most of my videos are about. So if you made it this far thank you so much for watching this video. Um, also good luck in the giveaway. If you made it this far leave me a flower emoji down below so I can thank you for being such a trooper and sitting here for like an hour because this was a long video but I hope you enjoyed it so thank Thank you so much for watching. I hope I will see you all in my next one. Bye.